Hey guys, uh, we continue our talk about the plotting technique today. So we talked about if you want to see or to visualize the DNA at, which is basically at replication level, in this case you will order what? Southern blot. Southern blot. And if you remember when in the next video when we talked about southern blot, how you can visualize this DNA, you need basically a prop. You need basically a prop and this prop is just short segment of DNA and you will link this prop with phosphate in order to be visualized. Now the question, if you don't see the DNA on southern blot and there is already DNA here so the, the defect either there is no prop or the prop that you made is defective or maybe you didn't attach phosphate to the prop that's why you didn't see DNA on southern blot. On southern blot. So here you will get two types of a question. The first one, how you can visualize DNA is by Sunder blot. This is easy. The second one is, if you have already DNA, but you couldn't visualize it, what is the defect? Either you have defect in the prop, or maybe you didn't attach phosphate to the prop. That's it. Now, after DNA, you will get RNA, and all of you know this basically means a transcription level, because here, it you transcription because here you transcribe DNA into RNA now how you can see RNA basically the visual visualization of RNA as you remember in the first video of this biochemistry basically is just northern a blot now for the northern blot guys is the same you need a prop and you need also to attach the prop phosphate in order to see the rna segment and a prop is just simple piece of simple segment of dna so basically this prop is dna prop so you will use dna prop in case of if you want to see the dna or if you want to see the rna so far it is just, I think, just, I just add two th simple things here, which is basically prop and phosphate attached on it. Now, the same question, if you need to see the protein, if you need to see protein at transcription level, so in this case, in, in this case, guys, also you will go with RNA. Also you will go with RNA, that's meaning you will go with northern blood. Don't go with western. Look. The question is a protein, but at transcription level, so you will go with RNA, which basically northern blood. Now, after that, you know, protein, you will have a protein because of basically what? Translation. So here, a protein at translation level. And guys, I would like to add something here. Usually, the protein is just antigen. You know, the protein is just antigen. So how you can see? how you can visualize these types of a protein. Let's say this is any types of a protein. Any, if you remember in the first slide, any types of a protein, whether cell membrane protein, or maybe cytoplasmic protein, or maybe secretory types of protein. Now, how you can see these types of proteins? Guess what? This is just antigen. This is just antigen. So how, how you can see the antigen? Maybe you can mix the antigen with antibody and by agglutination, once you will see agglutination between antigen and antibodies, that means there is a protein there and this is just basically what? Western blood. So in case of Western blood, guys, you will not add, please, don't add a prop here because it is not at the DNA or RNA level. So you don't need a prop. But because it's just antigen, you will add antibodies, and now antigen-antibody reaction, and this is basically Western blood. Now, m one more thing, another, oh, there is just one specific type of protein called DNA binding protein, if you remember. And I will talk about DNA binding proteins, I guess, in the next video. So DNA binding protein, basically transcription factors. And guys, from the name, this is DNA binding. So that, that means those kind of protein will go to the nucleus and bind to the DNA. From the name, look, it's very easy. DNA binding protein and mean transcription factors. So these are, these are working at the DNA level, right? So how you can see them? Although they are a protein, but here is no antibodies. It's different, basically. So I can see them also by... DNA prop. So you can see here is also DNA prop. So now, if there is a protein and you will add to the protein DNA prop, so in this case you will see DNA binding protein. 
while if you have a protein and you add antibodies to the protein in this case you will see any types of protein the one on the right side is just western blood the one on the left side will be south western that's it so basically all of them dna bind dna prop all of them southern northern southwestern all of them DNA prop. The only one which is a kind of exception is any types of protein, cell membrane protein, cytoplasmic secretory. In this case, you will add antibodies, you will get antigen antibody agglutination response, and this is basically Western blot.